Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And today what I've got for you is let's cook a lean and green. I'm also gonna sneak in a small, short, little coach's corner into this. I kinda think that's what I'm gonna do from now on uh, when I do a let's cook a lean and green. I'm gonna try to touch on one of the elements or one of the macro habits of our program. So while I'm cooking, I'm going to talk to you guys about creating a habit loop. All right, if you're on program, you might be familiar with what that is. And if you're not, you need to open up your life book and read element three. And that's gonna teach you all about structural tension and creating habit loops. Why do we create a habit loop? To help us install new healthy habits, because that's what this is all about. This is not a diet. We are not one and done. We are creating new habits because if you don't, if all you do is a diet, you're gonna get diet results and gain all that weight back that you lost. Besides, optimal health is more than just weight. Did you know that? It's healthy sleep, healthy motion, healthy mind, healthy surroundings. Yeah, these are some of the macro habits we teach. Okay, so let's get to the food so I can share with y'all what I'm making. All right, y'all, this is my go-to in a pinch. Make sure I always have these items in my pantry and fridge. If I can, this is a long day. This is dinner time when I'm doing this and I've had a very long, very busy day. I'll be honest, I'm tired and it's not over yet. I still have a phone call and a Zoom I have to do after this. And I'm a little, yeah, it's been a busy day. So I need this quick and easy go-to. So what I'm making is this, let me show you. All right, quite simply, I'm making spaghetti and meat sauce, okay? So this is what I'm using for my spaghetti, palmini noodles. Dogs are outside, I'm fixing to let them in. Sorry about the barking. Palmini noodles. You, you use the measurement from your vegetable conversion chart for hearts of palm. That's what these are, hearts of palm. You could also substitute zucchini noodles. You could also use spaghetti squash. I really like palmini. Now, I normally do the angel hair noodles. They didn't have them. So I got the, uh, this is the linguine. I've never actually had the linguine noodles. I know they'll taste the same, but you know, they'll just be sized a little different. Then I'm doing a 96.4, which is a leaner ground beef. I'm gonna brown that up. And then Rayo's marinara sauce is gonna be my other vegetable. So I'm gonna do one serving of the palmini noodles, two servings of this, that'll make my three servings of, of uh, vegetables. You have to have three greens. And then I'm gonna have two tablespoons of the Rayo's instead of like normally you would have cheese. I'm gonna use this as my healthy fat because I just really love the flavor of it. And two tablespoons is quite a bit and it's just yummy and creamy, and it makes like the best spaghetti and meat sauce you've ever had. All right, let's get to doing. First thing I'm gonna do is brown up my ground beef. This is supposed to be a nonstick pan, <laughs> and I think it is for the most part, but I always put a little bit of olive oil um, in the bottom when I'm doing ground beef or even chicken or turkey, um, just because I don't want it to burn or stick. All right, so right in the skillet it goes. My absolute favorite Pampered Chef tool I've ever bought. So I'm just gonna brown this up. And while this is browning, we're gonna talk about habit loops. All right, it's getting nice and brown. Once it's browned, you're just going to uh, drain off any fat or liquid you might have. It's not too much, because it's pretty lean ground beef. I love this little thing, it really just breaks up the the meat so well. I really think I needed a bigger skillet. This one's kind of little. It's all right. Oh, a dog scratching at the door. All right, I'm gonna let this finish up. Turn it way down on low. Go let my dogs in. So while that is finishing up, let's talk about a habit loop, okay? Um, I'm gonna just put a little graphic up and I'm just gonna say, I'm, a, I'm gonna put it up because y'all, no matter how long I do this, I'm never gonna remember which side the picture is gonna come up on. Cause I'm gonna do like a split screen. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. So here's a, here's a graphic kind of demonstrating a habit loop. A habit loop very simply is you have a cue, like a trigger that is a, a prompt, okay, for a particular action. And then that action is the routine, what it is you're doing, and then you have a reward that follows. The reason we use habit loops is because we're trying to install new healthy habits. It's so simple, y'all. So let me, let me give you an example. Water. All right, you see this bottle? This is 16.9 ounce bottle of water. 
I try to get five of these a day, a little bit more than 80 ounces, okay? So I'm not good at drinking water, but when I get one bottle in every morning before my first feeling, I don't know what it does. I really wish I understood the science behind that, but whatever it is, it I always get all my water in. As long as this is the first thing I put in my body, I always get the rest of my water in without fail. I never feel like I'm playing catch up. So what I did is I kind of habit stacked, all right? So I already had the habit of having a coffee fueling. I, I love my caramel macchiato shake. I still have it every day, still have it every day, probably will forever. Maybe not forever, I don't know, but I, I really enjoy it. So, and even if I don't have that shake, I will have a cup of coffee first thing in the morning, okay? So, what I decided to do, since that's something I was already doing, it was automated. Automated. Even on my absolute worst day, I'm going to get up and have a cup of coffee. I'm going to push that button on the coffee maker to brew. So, that pushing of the button is my cue. As soon as I push that button, I pick up my water. I do not get my coffee until this whole bottle is gone. So the reward is my coffee. So that, that habit is actually installed. I don't even have to think about it anymore. If I wake up in the morning and push that button and there's not a bottle of water somewhere, I don't forget. I start looking, where's my water? I head out to the garage, I get my water. Because it has become such an ingrained habit. As much so, think about brushing your teeth. Nobody has to get up in the morning and go, should I brush my teeth? Maybe I'll brush my teeth. Oh, I don't really want to brush my, oh, we don't have that conversation. It takes no willpower to brush your teeth. That's because it's an automated habit, okay? Well, we want these healthy habits to become automated. So this has become automated. So guess what? It worked so well for me, I decided to add another layer. So now what I do every morning, and I took this cue from my husband because he does this similarly. So now what I do in the morning when I push my coffee to come on, I start drinking my water. So I drink, drink, drink until, you know, get that one big drink in, set it down, and I do 10 push-ups against the counter. Then I pick my water back up, drink as much as I can, put it down, 10 more push-ups. I keep doing that until the water's all gone. So look at there. I'm installing a new habit on top of it. Healthy motion, hydration, all attached to the cue of turning on that coffee pot. And I chose that one because it's something I do over and over every single day of my life. Okay, is that making sense? I hope so. So what we do in element three is where we learn about this in your life book. Okay, so there's something called structural tension, okay? All that is, is on one side, you have your current reality, where you are right now. It could be your weight, it could be a um, health issue. It could be where you are in your fitness level. It could be lots of things. It could be a BMI number. It could be measurements, okay? That's over here. And then over here is your desired outcome, where you want to get. What's in the middle, okay, are those micro habits that we're using the habit loop to install, okay? Does that make sense? Because like, we can all say, I wanna get healthy, I wanna lose weight, healthy weight management, okay? That's a big goal, that's the, that's the big goal. But to reach there, we have to have a whole lot of little micro habits to get there, okay? So use that habit loop, okay, that habit loop to get there. Does that make sense? I gotta go let a dog in before she scratches my door down. Hold on. <laughs> I just let Maisie in, she's got the zoomies. Be good. Her and Lucy are playing, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get back to dinner. All right, so now I'm going to fix... Shh, girls. So now I'm going to fix the palmini. Y'all, this is so stinking simple. All I do, and, and really, I've got two packages here, but I just need one. I'm pretty sure just need one for me and Scott. So I'm going to put it in a strainer and rinse it really good, and then I'm just going to heat it up in a little saucepan, and it's done. Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to pour it right into my strainer. Oh, those are good size. I like the uh, angel hair ones. They're real fine, but that that's really good. Look how, I mean, it's spaghetti. Doesn't that look just like spaghetti? It has the texture of spaghetti for sure. I had that on hot. I don't want it on hot. Okay. 
All right, now we're just gonna rinse. I give it a really good rinse. Okay, now throw this away and then we get some paper towel and just pat it dry a little bit. Getting a little bit of the moisture off, just a little bit. It'll cook out when uh, you put it in your little saucepan. All right, so here's my little saucepan. I'm just gonna put it in there. And honestly, all we're doing is heating it up. Okay, I'm gonna season this up with just a little bit for condiments. I'm gonna show you what I like to use. Okay, I know this is for grilling, but it's got a garlic onion taste to it. And I, I just love garlic. So I use this and um, it says a fourth of a teaspoon is zero calories. So a fourth of a teaspoon is what I count as one condiment, you know, just to be safe. Yeah, there, it says no carbs, but fourth of a teaspoon. So I'm gonna sprinkle a fourth of a teaspoon right on top, actually a half of a teaspoon, one condiment for me, one condiment for Scott, right on top of, sorry, right on top of the palmini. Okay, here I go. I can tell it's been a while since I've done one of these. I accidentally cut the camera off when I angled it down to show you me sprinkling. I put one, uh, one half of a teaspoon for condiments. All right, this is what else I'm using. It's heating up, the hamburger meat is done. Now I've got the rayos here, warm the rayos up right there. And then I measured out two tablespoons of the, of the rayos Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna heat it in the microwave. I don't know if Scott's gonna want this or not. So I'm on, I only made enough for me. If he does want it, I can heat his up too. So when he gets home, I'm gonna plate all this together. It's gonna be a half a cup of the rayos, which would count as two greens. Cause one fourth cup of rayos is one green. So a half a cup of that is two greens. And then my, I think it's 2.57 ounces of the hearts of palm, okay? And then six ounces of the lean ground beef, and then two tablespoons of the rails. And that's dinner, y'all. So, can you believe how easy that is? Okay, as soon as Scott gets home, I'll get this all plated up and we will eat. Okay, well, Scott's running late. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up because I have a 5.30 call I have to get on. So I was really hoping we could have dinner before then. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it plated up. If he happens to come in, then he can join us when it's time to eat. But I'm gonna show you how we plate it up. Here we go. I have my bowl right there on, turn everything off. I've got my, all right, I've got my bowl right there on my scale. I have it zeroed out. So I'm gonna put six ounces, oh, I'm sorry, no. First, I'm gonna do the noodles. 2.57 ounces. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna put six ounces of lean ground beef on top of that, and that's gonna be, so that's one vegetable, and now I'm gonna do six ounces of ground beef for my protein. That's gonna be a lot of ground beef, y'all, just so you know. I hope I have this camera angled so you can see well. Yep. Yeah, that's only four ounces. Wow. If you need to split your protein, you can. Okay, there we go. Woo, that's a lot. And then what's left over will be Scott's. Okay, now I'm going to do a half cup of Rayos. That right there. Doing all this right here. All right. Half cup of Rayos. There we go. And then, if that wasn't yummy enough, now I'm going to top it with my two tablespoons of Alfredo sauce that I heated up. Okay, y'all, there we have it. That is a complete lean and green with one healthy fat, six ounces of lean ground beef, your three vegetables, seasoning that I put on the um, 
on the Palmini is one condiment. Yeah, so I was really hoping that Scott would join us, y'all. I know how much y'all miss him, and I promise y'all he still lives here. <laughs> y'all haven't seen him in forever. Um, I may get him to hop on and say hello um, after he gets home and just put that on the end of this video. Um, those of you who watch our unboxings, we do have a duo Stitch Fix coming up very soon. Okay, so here's dinner. And I am going to dig in. I like the consistency of the linguine. I always get the angel hair, but I think, I think this will be good. And y'all, like I said, this is one of those, I made this whole thing less than 10 minutes to put together. I mean, I was filming and all that. I mean, you know, I was videoing and so it probably took me a little bit longer, but I'm just, you know, if I just come home and cook, 10 minutes, so simple. It, it takes as long as it takes to, to brown the ground beef. There's a bite. It's just like spaghetti and meat sauce, y'all. You know, pasta doesn't really have a whole lot of flavor. Neither does palmini. They're just kind of a vehicle for the sauce. <laughs> So it's all about the texture for me. It really is, as long as the flavor is mild. And I think that's why I like the palmini better than like spaghetti squash or zucchini noodles. Um, it just, to me, it has more of a actual pasta texture. All right, I'm gonna go eat this while it's warm. And hopefully Scott will be home soon. And um, I hope y'all enjoyed the tiny little coach's corner teaching you about a habit loop. Put that into practice, you guys. Any, in, for anything, you can use that for anything. Any type of behavior you're trying to turn into a habit, create a habit loop. Figure out a cue, then the action, and make sure there's a reward that follows because you're not gonna continue to do it if there's not a reward. The cue is what will signal your brain to do it, then you'll do the action. The reward is what keeps you wanting to do it. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, guys, I'm not gonna say goodbye because Scott will be home soon and I'm gonna have him hop in and say hello and then we will say goodbye together. Look who I found, y'all. Look at these. Came in from the north wind, blew me in. Yeah, it was warm this morning and then it got downright cold. That's Boomer trying to tear the door down. When I was cooking dinner, the <laughs> girls were out there and I was like, okay, I gotta go because the girls are gonna try to tear the door down. The girls? Were they wanting in that bad? Yes. Uh, yeah, Maisie. It was Maisie. That, wanting that stud muffin. <laughs> they were wanting they were. <laughs> Anyway, the only reason I'm doing this is because I filmed the whole Let's Cook a Lean and Green, and I told them, I'm sorry, because I know y'all are dying to see Scott. Somebody actually said that, um, you know, this is the first week I'm back. And I can't remember which video it was, but somebody was like, oh, I'm so glad you're back, but I really miss Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. And I was like, I cannot put up a let's lead a lean let's cook a lean and green without him. But kind of leaning. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm, <laughs> normally y'all are on a tripod, but I'm actually holding it well, now. Let me hold, I'll cover it up. I guess. Yeah, it's you're okay. We're <laughs> we're kind of new at this thing again. Of oh, and taking time off and getting started back up. Yell so. at that dog. Yell and, at that dog. Yeah, stop it, Boomer. Okay, so um, just a quick update too, because some of y'all may, some of y'all have actually asked me. Um, we never could go live and oh, that yeah. was, that was not for lack of trying. Um, their actual YouTube, uh, support is actually investigating the Why? problem because they're like, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to. And so they told me to do all these different things. And then they told me to, um, try to do it from a different device, which I did still didn't work. So they're like, okay, we're going to look into it and see if we can figure it out. And then another YouTuber, contacted me and said she has to use an app. Oh. And so I may try that. They just and put the kibosh on us. I don't know what it is because I meet all the criteria and my channel is verified or whatever you're supposed to be. Well, yeah. So that that's where we stand on that. Um, okay, guys, I just wanted him to hop in and say hello. Say hello, honey. Hello. <laughs> I hopped in. He hopped in. I blew in. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Well, I already ate. This guy needs to eat. I'm going to go heat up his dinner. And until we get back together again, you guys, y'all just have a really blessed day. Thanks for joining us. Y'all stay safe, stay well. And, and warm. And warm. And we're, we're out. out.